Yes, we're up to the entry of but daughters. So he says that in his time, he come, he sees that there was a big problem. And he wants to talk about the minhagra. Right? Minhagra. I saw a disgraceful at mode of conduct that people had. Because what happens was when a, more, a man would have a daughter born to his family. So instead of being happy and excited and uh, being thankful. People in, his ta- in, this, in that time, they used to make jokes and mock him. They used to go and tell him, ah, to Papa, oh, you got a daughter, you got like a dud. Uh, woe is to you, so sad for you. And they make jokes at him. And therefore what? They used to say, oh, it's, it's very terrible. Oh, it's a, the, they, they make all these time of jokes. And they say as if a misfortune happened to him. He says... To the point, it was so embarrassing. He says, people who used to have girls, they used to be so embarrassed. They used to try to hide from people. They used to not want to talk about it. They used to know that they, they used to get it over the head every single time they hung out with their friends. So they were very embarrassed. So therefore, the Pelewet says, this is very, very bad. And therefore, what? It's really, it's from it's from the Tamim Deim. It's from a Kaddish Baruch Hu of one of perfect knowledge who gave this. It's a Kaddish Baruch Hu who gave him a girl. It's not. It's. Uh, it's not uh, as if it's he chose what he went. We're going to see soon later. He says a line. He says uh, now the husbands they used to get upset with the wife. They used to think it's the wife, blame the wife, and think it's her fault. And they would. They, the Pele White says that they used to go and have this even worse custom. If his wife would give him boys, what they used to do, they used to give him, oh, bekavod, she's a good wife. She, she knows, she, she gave, she gave boys, she's good, I should give her gifts, I should go and mechaber her. But then when they would give girls, what happened? If she had a daughter for him, he would distance from her, he wouldn't turn to her, she would become depressed, she would become abandoned. And then says the Pedro, this is very, very foolish, this is horrible. He says, this is Hashem gave him what? He says, Haim What? As if she went to the bazaar to choose that she, he should have a daughter and not a son? Why are you blaming her as if it's her choice, as if she, she did it? It's not her fault. So therefore, why we have to get involved with Hashem's plan? Why do you have to go and complain against what Hashem did? Everything Hashem, Baruch Abba, whatever Hashem gave, we take. Whatever Hashem gave is good, is perfect. So therefore, a person cannot complain when he gets a daughter. And definitely, and definitely not make jokes to other people when they have daughters. And definitely, and definitely not to go and put his wife down and make it as if it's his wife's fault. But then... <laughs> so what happens? So he says... He says, maybe it's better that actually daughters might be better than boys. Why do people love boys so much? He says, the, the explanation they give is that people think that I want someone to follow my legacy. I want someone to keep my, my name and my, 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 and keep, follow my footsteps. So a son, it's more, it's easier to mold, they, they think. And, and a son will, will listen to me and continue my name and give him kavod to me and my family. That's what they think. But they think a daughter, a eh, daughter, she's going to marry out. Who, who knows who she's going to marry? And, and will she follow my ways? Will she not? She'll be pulled towards this family, you know? It's not really, it's not really keeping it in the family. It's not really going to give kavod to my family. Uh, but really, sometimes he says, who said, Maybe it's going to be the opposite. Many times people's daughters did more, were more successful than people's sons. Why? Because the, the, the Gemara tells them, his daughters marry big Tamid Chachamim, huge Tamid Chachamim, as opposed to someone's son. Someone's sons could be a bum. A person's son could be, he doesn't, doesn't follow the, the Torah's ways, doesn't follow the Father's ways. He, he wants to, he wants everything to be a freebie. While the daughter, he raised her right, and she, you know, daughters usually, they receive Musar better than uh, boys, and they, 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 uh, they, they feel that, you know, it's easier to inspire them, it's easier to give them chizuk, and you tell them stories, you tell them you're at Shamaim, you know, they, they, they're, they're very, they're very emotional, it's easy to get them to do Teshuvah, and, and, and they could, they could marry a big Kamikham, and they could accomplish more, even more than the boys sometimes. So therefore, why are we to get upset right away? 
when a person has a boy, a girl, maybe it's actually better than the boy's a boy. There's a, there's a lot of obligations. You have to make sure to teach him Torah. You have to make sure that he goes and works. That you, that you have find to teach him uh, a, a trade. But a, a, a daughter, a daughter, there's not so much worry. You don't have to teach them so much Torah and so like the son. You just have to teach her the duties of a wife. Give her good midot and find her a shidduch. But but that's 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 less of a worry than boys have sometimes. So therefore, why do I? It doesn't make sense that people are so upset when they get bo- girls. They should also be happy when they get girls. Now he talks about the mitzvah of making sure to marry off your daughter. He says uh, the father has obligation to marry off his daughter. To marry off as soon as she comes of age. Like the sages tell us. Gimel says, if your daughter has reached maturity and she cannot find a match, free your slave and give him to her in marriage. Which means to say that once a girl became of age, a person should go out of his way to make sure that she, she gets a, she gets a shidduch. And once you free a slave, right, he becomes a full-fledged Jew. And even if it means free your slave, even if it means you're gonna lose a slave, you're gonna lose money, go out of your way and do it. Marry her off. It's very important that she gets married. As the, the uh, say, how do you say, Khani Show, that's what they call it. Yeah, that's it. You have to get her out of the house. When she stays in the house, what happens? She'll stay there and bicker. She'll stay there and be bored. And then boredom leads to Hans Shalom, worst thing. Hans Shalom could take a toll on them emotionally and they could go and lose, lose with who, who, their potential, who they were supposed to be. A person cannot allow a person, a daughter in the house too long. They have to make sure, obviously, to someone fit. But a person cannot be so meticulous. Like I said before, many people, they're so meticulous about last name and wealth and kavod and looks. All these things, they throw away shiduk, the stipe lagon. The stipe lagon, the guy came to him, Allah wa shalom, and, uh, and the guy said, Rabbi, I'm still not married. Why am I not still married? He says, tell me your dating. What, what, what happened in your dating life? He said, they told him the whole story. He said, listen, you found your wife. And she was your zivug, but you told her no for a silly reason. You threw away your zivug, you threw away your, your, your shiduk, now you're in zivug sheni, you threw away your zivug rishon. Because you said no for a silly reason. Mm. Many people themselves, and many people's parents, throw away their children's zivug for a silly reason. Oh, they're from this city, and they're those people, all oh, stereotypes all those people. Could be they're a good family. No, I don't want to hear them, I don't want to see them. I stereotype them, because they're all the same. Oh, because my bobo, his bobo, stereotype, throw them all away. Oh, because, you know, he's this, he's this, oh, he's Ashkenazi, oh, he's, 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 he's this, he's that, he's that type of Sephardi, oh, throw them away. All these stereotypes, it's not nice, a person should give the guy a chance, mm-hmm. right? So therefore, a person has to know that a lot of times you have to have that, you, all the time, you have to have da Torah, da Torah. The father and the son, the father and the daughter have to f- ask, Rav, what are we supposed to be looking for? What's important? What's not important? What if they have this, but they don't have this? So what, how do we make a judgment call? You can't do that by yourself, because if you do it by yourself, it's dinena fashot. It's a person's life on the line. And you're throwing away, you're making a decision. You're in the hospital, imagine. And you go and you, you make a life, life and death decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull the plug. Why should she suffer? It's not so simple to pull the plug on somebody just because they're suffering. You have to find out what's the halakha. Uh, halakha is, it's a sword to pull the plug. And you pull the plug because you decided from your belly that's what you're supposed to do. You killed the person. You took the guy's life and you committed murder and you decided on your own hand. The blood is on your hands. The person has to ask halakha before you do that. You can't just, you just can't just do all this medical halakha by yourself. And therefore the same thing with the shiduch. Yeah, yeah, there's no for you. And then what? If you're saying no to this guy, who knows, this was her zivuk, and now you keep her in the house another extra 10 years till she finds the next one, and all that suffering is on your head. It's not so simple, willy-nilly, to decide, oh, because I feel like it, because I know what's best. Who says you know what's best? Go and find out, get an opinion from Da Torah, at least hear them out. Hear out what Da Torah has to say. No, but the people say, no, I know, I know, I want, I want. Okay, you want to break your head and figure it out on your own? Go go see where that takes you. And after when you suffer, the, why you complain to the rabbi, uh, why, why, why me, why me? Because he didn't ask you for. Anyways, people when they crash and they burn, they have debt, or they have uh, problems with health, they have problems in life, they come crying to the rabbi. Don't come in the end crying to the rabbi. In the beginning, go to the rabbi and ask. Don't wait till the end. What you're ever supposed to do in the end, do in the beginning. Baruch